If you use a Chromebook, Google Meet offers one of the easiest ways to video conference. But there's more to Meet than simply joining a meeting from Gmail or a link. I found the following tips helpful when you want to use Meet on a Chromebook. First, you may press Ctrl-N to open a new window, type meet.new, and press Enter. That's a fast way to start Meet. Next, go to meet.google.com to access upcoming Google Meet sessions for your account for the day. You may choose to join or start a meeting from this page as well. If you plan to use Meet often, I suggest you pin it to the shelf. Open a new Chrome window and go to meet.google.com. Select the three vertical dots in the upper right corner of Chrome, then choose More Tools, then Create Shortcut. Select the blue Create button. This adds Meet as a shortcut in the launcher. Select the launcher, then type Meet in the search box. Right-click on the Meet icon that displays, then choose Pin to Shelf. Now, you can click or tap on the Meet icon to open meet.google.com in a new browser tab. To display available keyboard shortcuts, press Ctrl and Slash while in Google Meet. For example, Ctrl D toggles your microphone on or off, and Ctrl E toggles your webcam on or off. The Chromebook keyboard includes a full screen key. Press full screen and Meet will hide the shelf, the address and bookmark bars, and any other tabs that you have open. Press the key again to exit full screen mode. When not in full screen mode, you may use alt bracket key combinations to move Meet to a portion of your screen. Alt left bracket to toggle the window between the left portion of the screen or centered and Alt right bracket to toggle the window between the right portion of the screen or centered. Chromebooks also include a fast way to capture information displayed on the screen. Press Ctrl and the Show Windows key to take a screenshot of the entire display. Or press Ctrl and Shift in the Show Windows key, then click and drag the cursor to select an area of the screen to take a screenshot of a portion of the display. Access these screenshots wherever you have configured your Chromebook to save screenshots. See my article at techrepublic.com for details. If your G Suite account includes the ability to live stream from Meet to people in your organization, you may create a live stream link when you start a new Meet session. Select the three vertical dots displayed in the lower right corner of the video preview page, then choose Add an in-house live stream. This creates and displays a link that you may then copy and share with people in your organization. Remember, this sort of live stream may only be accessed by people in your organization. Let me know what tips you have for working with Google Meet on a Chromebook. Share your suggestions with me either in the comments or on Twitter. I'm Andy Wolber, at A Wolber on Twitter, for Tech Republic.